Well, watch your crazy cats and welcome to Dazzle Rebel Rides. Now, today on Moto Lists, I want to talk about five things we know about the Indian Challenger. Yes, how you doing folks and welcome to Dazzle Rebel Rides. Now this video might be a little bit like almost if you or especially if you've been keeping an eye on uh, the Indian motorcycle world in general, this might be a bit like teaching you a sucker, but I just wanted to make it to clarify a few things as they stand and maybe create a little bit of conversation in the comments in case anybody knows a bit more information than anybody else. So this is five things that we currently know about the Indian Challenger that's allegedly coming next year in 2020. And so the first thing we know about the Indian Challenger is it's going to be a large capacity liquid cooled engine and it's going to be, the engine is going to be called the Power Plus which if you know your Indian motorcycle history is a name they've used before on engines way back in the mist of time. Now there has been some wide speculation about how much power this engine is going to kick out. Some people are saying 160 brake horsepower, I think that's way too much. You never know, we could be pleasantly surprised but I think the more conservative estimates that are around about 120 will probably end up being around about right you know they'll probably be pretty on the mark I think personally but that does lead some scope for some I suppose some major customization some ma major engine tuning you know maybe with some engine tuning you might reach that magic 160 HP mark who knows but for now all we know is it is liquid cooled and it's called a power plus so the second thing we know about the Challenger is it's going to come with a fixed fairing. Now this fairing is, I know a lot of people have sort of said it's, it's Indian's take on the road glide. Now I can sort of see it a little bit but in all honesty with you it looks a lot more modern futuristic sort of looking than what the, the road glide does. To me it's even more Yamaha Star Venture than it is road glide. The Road Glide has that very distinct uh, twin headlight setup that reminds me personally of uh, a Minion. <laughs> but maybe that's just me. But you know, it's it's got a very distinctive look, and it's certainly when you look at the front of this. Come on, twat. So yeah, I can't really see why people are calling it a Road Glide rip off because all right yes it's a v-twin cruiser with a fixed fairing on it but i don't know either the profile i suppose is vaguely reminiscent of it but overall it's it's its own design you know when you look at this it to me it's it's i suppose it has elements it has elements of road glide and elements of yamaha star venture but also there's something there that's a little bit sort of victory cross country about it as well what do you guys think and so that moves us on to the third thing we know and that is regarding the lights inside the fairing they are LEDs you look at this setup and of course they're going to be LEDs because that's where every modern high-end motorcycle is sort of going these days and if you ask me it's about time I would actually like to see LED lighting filtered down as standard through all the Indian motorcycle range I think it would be you know uh, a nice and welcome um, supplement to the Thunderstroke bikes as standard and also the Scouts as well I think having the the same light that the FTR comes with on the Scouts it's now an option but it'd be nice if it was there as standard as with cruise control and so the fourth thing we know about the Indian Challenger is it's going to sit in the heavyweight category it's going to sit in the touring stroke bagger category 
and it's going to sit alongside the Thunderstroke 111 and 116. It's not going to replace it, at least not yet. You know, there's still got some life in that air-cooled engine that I'm riding right now yet, uh, and certainly with the 116 kit too. So yeah, the, it will sort of sit in the, the heavyweight bracket, but it does raise a question of will they use the engine elsewhere? Now, although they reckon, or so I've read, that the... Uh, You see, with a slimmer bike you can do that. This is just a little bit too wide. Now where was I? Oh yes, so it does sit in the heavyweight category alongside the Thunderstroke range, uh, both the 111 and 116. It won't be replacing them, at least not yet, but it does raise a question of... Uh... <laughs> How much longer uh, an air-cooled motorcycle has and whether eventually it will replace the 116 and 111 Thunderstroke engine and if so how much longer of course all this is speculation but you would imagine that the Challenger isn't going to be the only bike to receive this Power Plus engine and so the fifth thing we know about the Challenger or pretty much 99.9% .9 certain of is it will be a 2020 model even though it's not been officially announced yet there's enough of uh, there's enough rumour and speculation, there's enough evidence out there to suggest that it is definitely going to be a 2020 model. The only question is when are they are Indian finally going to actually announce it as a, an official model? My thoughts on the matter are very soon. If you look at all the promo for the current 2020 lineup that we know about already, there's even some shots of the Challenger in the background. So it would be ludicrous to suggest that the Challenger is not coming out in 2020. So that is five things we know or think we know about the Indian Challenger. What are your thoughts on the subject? In fact, while we're here, um, if you look in the top right hand corner of this video, uh, probably be round about there somewhere, I'm going to put a title card in there, where you can uh, check back and look at my five things we already know. Uh, about the 2020 Indy Motorcycle Models range. So as I said, leave me some comments and as always, if you like to ride, be sure to subscribe, hit that notification bell and if there's any more challenging news, I will of course let you know. For now though, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.